Hello, good afternoon, welcome to MK Communion Brokerage. My name is Mohammed. In this video, we're going to go over Chapter 4 of Tow Truck Parts and Equipments. Um, so let's get started. Um, just know the diagram about where everything is. Uh, this is the tow truck stabilized. This is the broom, spoon is fully tractored. They don't usually ask you about the diagram and they give you the test and, you know, just put it, uh, put it fill in the blanks. It's not going to happen. But this is for your reference so that you know visually what each part is and what's the purpose of it is. Uh, term explained in the chapter, you need to know the terms. You need to know what a boom is. A boom is a structural num member of a tow truck that extends extends from a mast. You need to know that part. Uh, it's basically a manual winch must be operated only when there's no load to the boom. A hydraulic, there's also a hydraulic boom, uh, which can be raised, lower, extended, retracted. There's manual and there's a regular one. So you need to know both parts of the boom. I would know all the terms in chapter four. Every part of the term. I would know what a winch is. A winch is a device for winding and unwinding cable that is used to pull, hoist, raise, lower the uh, load or sling free of the ground. The winch is right there. This is the winch cable. Basically, this is what it is. This is the winch cable. Some tow trucks have auxiliary winches called drag winches. I would know this part as well. Uh, the cable on drag winches go directly to the load and not over the end of the boom. Um, there's all the power to most hydraulic and mechanical winches provided by the power takeoff PTO know that part uh, just remember use the manual winch whenever there is there's no load on it uh, obviously with the exception by hydraulic boom which is usually the different case where you could use it for either ways uh, just just keep that in mind um, to, uh, the uh, uh, tow trucks either have one or two booms it can work mechanically or hydraulically like I said stated before uh, we went over the winch let's go over the cables uh, just to know that cable is a wire a rope used for pulling or supporting the load, uh, keeping that in mind. Um, this is a cable work load limit right over here, a diagram of the New York State Department of Motor Vehicle. Uh, just keeping uh, over here, this is the winch. Always keep three to five wraps of the cables, drums, or whatever the amount of manufacturer recommends right over here. And having, remember, always want to make sure one thing, whenever you have PTO on, just like right over here, it states over here. The cable or drag winches go directly to load and not over the end of the boom. The power to most hydraulic mechanical winches is provided by the power takeoff. I will know this. In which a device that transmits engine power to auxiliary equipment. The control for the P2 are located in the uh, uh, of the of the cab of the truck. This is the caution. I will know this. this is the test question. Traveling with PTO engaged will cause PTO and your truck transmission damage. I will know that part. Just know that it takes one wrap and a single coil of wire rope or cable or wound on a drum. One wrap over here. Com we obviously, you're going to need to compare diagram uh, 6 with diagram 3 to see the difference. Like I said, you need to know every part. Of it. There's no one part of it. I'm just going to go, I'm really, the reason I'm going over certain parts is it's going to take a lot of time. I just want to go over like, bullet points of what can be asked. But I highly recommend remembering every part in this chapter because this chapter is a highly really uh, testable question during the tow truck driving license test. I don't know what cable ter tra termination is. Cable is no stronger than an end attachment or termination. The termination recommends for towing in a sandwich, an end in which the cable ends are braided and the sleeve is placed over the end. It provides 90 to 100 percent of cable strength. Uh, just keep that in mind. Manufacturer specification must be consulted before making repairs or termination so that the termination provides at least 75 percent of cable strength always install a thimble. Know this part. It's a shield to protect the cable hook assembly. This is the test question. In the loop end of the cable. You need to know what a wet socket is. It's a device the cable is threaded through form to form a loop. Know what a cable wear and damage is. Cable can be damaged by overloading by, by continuous variation of stress or vibration, by being bent around sharp corners or by being drawn across sheaves, pulleys that are too small, Types of cable damages are wear, fatigue, subject to stress, tensile stress, or drawn out, and shear, cut out, clip. Uh, you should uh, no, continuously inspect cables for wear and for frayed, disordered, or crushed wires. Pay particular attention to pickup points that that in points that are in contact with drums and sheets where the initial load of of the lift is applied. Snatch block is a snatch block is a single or multiple pulley system that is used to reduce line tension or change cable direction. Uh, just keep that in mind, a single winch cable can be rigged with a single snatch block to create a two-part line. Uh, chains are chains are used to tie down and to lift, support, and pull block. Uh, chains also have their own 
uh, rating system as well keep that in mind which I will go over a little while like they said over here change grade or certain rating there's four types I will know all four of them this one proof coil which is 3 or 30 inches which is not heat treated number two high test identified as 4 or 43 which is not heat treated number three transport identified as 7 to 70 which is high quality trees treated and is usually used for towing industry a lot and number four is alloy identified as 8 or 80 which is heat treated chain and that is stronger than transport but it's very expensive and this is the only chain recommended by OSHA the Occupation Safety and Health Administration I would know this for overall lifting all right uh, this is the Department of Transportation Federal Motor uh, Carrier Safety uh, Administration uh, if you're going to be driving tow trucks you need to know all this obviously that's in the future but for test purposes they're not mass so don't worry about it towing devices towing devices are used to attach motor vehicles to tow trucks for example these devices are tow slings trucks hitches wheel lift and under lift tow slings just know this there are devices used for lifting and towing vehicles with part of the load supported on rubber belts they may lift and tow automobiles light trucks or small Vans are generally used only for transporting damaged vehicles. Uh, tow slings are usually rated for a lifting capacity of 35,000 pounds and a towing capacity of 7,000 pounds. Always consult the manufacturer's rating. The rating is for maximum load and should never be exceeded. Overloading can cause the tow sling to fail unexpectedly, resulting in an accident. Even a one time overload may cause undetected damage that signify weakens equipment and causing equipment failure. This is the important part. I will know what tow slings are in general. Tow truck hitches are devices used to position and support the end of a towed vehicle behind the tow truck. They are used in medium and heavy duty towing to tow buses, motorhomes, medium and large trucks, large box vans or highway equipment. Tow hitches perform the same function as truck hitches but are used for towing lighter loads. Wheel lift. I would know wheel lift are devices used for towing vehicles by lifting one end of the towed vehicle by the wheels. Just know that part as of now. Uh, I would read everything on my own, but I'm going to go over the basic parts. Uh, it seems like a lot to read, and it seems like I will be repeating a lot of things, but just know the basic ones. I would always highly recommend to pause the vehicle and read it uh, because some things I missed might come in the test, and you know, you don't want to happen to you know, not pass by one point. Just keep that in mind. Underlift are devices used for towing vehicles by lifting which forks the end of the towed vehicle from under the axle or structural member. Uh, just remember that most wheel lift and underlift are hydraulically powered. A hydraulic power can be used to raise, lower, extend, or retract the boom or inner boom, just like we said before. Each movement is usually controlled inadequately. Some have a tilt con uh, control, but others do not. Wheel strap and auxiliary securing device help prevent the se uh, separation of the disabled vehicle from the wheel lift or underlift. Uh, in addition to the securing device, at least two safety chains must be attached with the disabled vehicle to the tow truck. This is required by law. Know this, what this is. Two safety chains. Uh, I would know what a dolly is. Dollies are four-wheeled carriers used in towing to support the trailing end of a towed vehicle. Uh, tow truck lights. I would know this. This actually was in the test. Uh, hazard lights. These are a tow truck is defined as hazard vehicle under the vehicle and traffic law. As such, it must be equipped with hazard lights, as you see in, in the front. So, uh, I mean, on the top of the vehicle, that's where hazard lights are. These lights are to be displayed only when the tow truck or car carriers engage in a hazardous operation, meaning that these people cannot just have a tow truck lights on just for regularly. They have to have it uh, when there's hazardous uh, uh, lights are going on. Uh, basically, that's the hazard lights are over here. Let's go to the next page, page 15. With two exceptions, hazard lights should never be displayed while a tow truck is underway. These exceptions are, know this for the test. When a vehicle can be towed at speed that impede the normal flow of traffic, and when the towed or carrying vehicle protrudes into other lanes of traffic. You should never use that because you could blind somebody. Auxiliary tow lights. Tow truck must also be equipped with auxiliary tow lights, sometimes uh, referred uh, to as drag lights. Just know that as well. Uh, Fairly to task these lights. Uh, to a towed vehicle is a violation of New York State and Federal Law. Uh, working working lights, lastly, tow trucks should be also equipped with work lights that may be used to eliminate the scene of an accident or disemblement. Obviously, uh, just make sure you have that. Uh, read this on your own, and uh, and I'll try to help you. You know, like it will help you get understand it a little bit better.
Uh, use the proper equipment. Don't take short work. Take your time and be safe. Whew, that was the end of chapter four. There's a lot to learn. Honestly, in in order to in order to for you to properly know this, uh, you know, you need to read this on your own. Honesty, um, it's a lot to uh, I digest. I know it's very difficult. Uh, the only way of doing this is by reading it again and again and again. When I took my tow truck driving license test, I thank God I passed it on the first try, but I barely passed. It. I passed literally like I got a 17. I think you need a 17 out of 20. Uh, so it, it's it's not easy. You need a lot, you need a lot of questions right. Um, so with that said, guys, uh, just study for this. Just don't go and thinking you'll pass. You need really need to study. You really need to understand what each part is. Thank you again, guys, for watching this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any other questions, comments, concerns, please comment, like, subscribe. I'll try my best on my part to help you out as much as I can. Thank you again, guys, for watching this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it.